Hi, my name is Emma Lawrence. I am a junior attending Windermere Preparatory School, and this is my monologue entitled Pandemic. Good morning, Arthur. It's great to meet you in light of social distancing. Zoom is clearly the way of the future. Hi, I'm Erin Vogel, a social psychologist and postdoctoral fellow at Stanford University. Now, we all thought 2020 would be our year, and some would even call it the Roaring Twenties. And then, crisis struck. From fake news and the threat of World War III to social distancing and murder hornets, it's been quite the year so far. Scattered amid a relentless barrage of news about COVID-19 case surges, quarantine orders, and medical supply shortages on Twitter this week, some happy stories have softened the blows. Such as, did you hear that swans have returned to deserted Venetian canals? Dolphins, too. Even a jellyfish. But this was all fake. A hoax. An imitation. And the public believed it all. I mean, how could you not, seeing so many likes and comments which gives us an immediate social reward? In other words, they make us feel good. The swans in said viral posts regularly appear in the canals of Burano, a small island in the greater Venice metropolitan area, where the photos were taken. The Venetian dolphins were filmed at a port in Sardinia, in the Mediterranean Sea, hundreds and hundreds of miles away. People hope that, no matter what we've done, nature is powerful enough to rise above it. Social media, however, is a way for the public to have a voice. To have a say. And for some, it gives them far too much power, and negativity strikes and feelings are hurt. From age 12 to age 20, the internet has masqueraded lies as truth, corrupting our minds significantly. So, when a tweet reads, the water flowing through the canals of Venice is clear for the first time in forever. The fish are visible. The swans have returned. We all believe it. Because we're trained to. Because this is all we know. In times when we're all really lonely, it's tempting to hold on to that feeling. Especially if we're posting something that gives people a lot of hope. The idea that animals and nature could actually flourish during this crisis could give us a sense of meaning. It could give us a purpose. So we can believe that we went through all of this for a reason. To find a bright side amidst this pandemic. Finding out good news isn't real can be even more demoralizing than not hearing it at all. I'd encourage people to share positive things. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic, such as a greater appreciation for our healthcare workers. Just remember, it needs to be true. Thank you, Arthur.